plane at zero, 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 we're going to take our mesher, we'll align it to our plane, pivot point, pivot point, x, y, z, make sure they're all checked, and now they'll line up correctly um, with our feet. Now, if we created this plane somewhere else off of zero and tried to align it with the plane, it still it just would not line up. The mesher object wouldn't line up. That would just mean you would have to manually align your mesh with your particle. So you'd have to go to your particle system just in case you can't do that. I'll show you. Um, here, here we'll turn on our display for our particles. You can see that the red now. Um, if they don't line up in use and you can't make your plane on zero zero zero, just manually line it up. You know it's pretty easy to do, but it's a lot easier if you just create your plane at zero 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 and get it roughly where you know roughly where it's supposed to go, and that it that would will be close enough as long as it's pretty much on there. All right, and that's pretty much all you got to do. So I'll just line it, realign it. I'm gonna go back to my particles. We're gonna turn off the particles so we don't see them because we don't need to see them. And for our mesher. We don't need to see the particles in our mesher anymore. So while our mesher is selected, we go to Edit Object Properties, and we're going to set it to Display as Box, and turn off Renderable so they don't get rendered. This way, we don't see them in the viewport, and the mesher doesn't get rendered. For our particles, we need to have the render on. If we don't turn it on, it's not going to be able to use them. When it go for the to d reform the the plane to make our footprint, so the render has to be on for this to work. But display can be off. Display can be turned off. So e if we render it right now, you're gonna see them, even though we turned the, I mean the display off and they're not showing in the viewport. We're still gonna see them. Now even for our uh, little shape instance, whatever we do to our shape instance is gonna affect the particles now, All right? So. It, we can't simply, I'll just do it from here since my camera program's messing up. We, we can turn off renderable for the shape instance, right? But it's still going to render the particles. So what we have to do to get around this is to go to Material Editor and just create a standard material. This is just a standard material. You can just name it shape so you know which one it's, it's for and just create it and turn it to opacity down to zero and then assign it to this shape instance so it's invisible this way you don't have to worry about it so this way the material now it's not going to render the mesher anymore and that's what we want we just want it invisible so it won't, it's it's still there it's just going to be invisible now all right but the shape instance you can turn off renderable so you don't have to worry about that either um, it can be invisible, whatever, it doesn't really matter, but we have to make sure the particles um, are not seen. Alright, so we hid the, or we set a uh, mesher, we turned it to display mocks, uh, we made it so it uh, doesn't render. And Okay, so the particles are still there, just so you know, we'll, we can turn those back on now, just to see they're still there. Now what we need to do is go to our plane again, go to volume select, and for our mess object down here, we're going to set it to our mesher. Make sure it shows mesher in there. Okay. And then for our X form, we go to gizmo, and we pretty much just pull this down, and it should give us our shape that we want here or you know it'll give us our thing but we have to create oh that's one thing I forgot to do um, let's go to turn click off that we gotta go to our back to our plane and we need to add our segments now so go to edge face mode just so you can see turn on edge faces and turn your length segments up really high to where we get a lot of segments in here start off maybe at a hundred or so and turn this one up even more if you have a rectangle try to make a whole bunch of little squares now you can see you know our footprint starting to get formed in there don't go too crazy just enough to make the footprints and the only reason why I'm getting footprints now is because I already turned my gizmo moved my gizmo but if you didn't move your gizmo yet and you created all your uh, 
segments just go ahead and right off the bat is start off with um, 150 and 150 for your segments just so when you move your gizmo you'll see the changes so right up before you move your gizmo just set those and get that over with then go to your gizmo and then you'll want to move it because if this was at zero you wouldn't notice any changes but now we're gonna move this down we're just gonna select the gizmo and just pull it down just until we get footprints and indent in the ground there and that should do it Okay, so now we have our footprints being created by all those boxes that turned into a mesh. Okay, now we can turn off edge face mode. We don't really need that anymore. So we can see what the heck's going on. And you can see, you know, we have footprints now. And now if we unselect this, we'll be able to see them better. If we unselect our mesh or our ground plane, we can actually see them a little bit better. Okay, now one thing we can do here is you can see we got a footprint there, a footprint there. We can add, or, well, we can, for one, we can add more particles if we want. If we add more particles, it's going to make more boxes flow off the foot. That's, you know, that'll be one thing we can do. And, of course... Hold on a sec. We can also move our gizmo, or not our gizmo, our ground plane. We can move the ground plane, select the ground plane, and move it up to go through the feet a little bit. So, you know, you get more more reaction with the feet. Like that. So I'm just pulling that up just to get more reaction so you know the if you want a slide action if you want the foot embedded into the snow now it's dragging through the snow more even the if the toe tip hits it you know that'll that'll affect it and it'll just slide okay so that's one thing and then you can go back to your ex your gizmo again and readjust that if you have to and then unselect just so you can see it all right, so now you get those happening. I mean, if you liked it the other way where you just had just a single footprint, then just leave it that way. But if not, then go ahead and just move those around just to get things centered. You can also move the uh, mesher. If you select the mesher, you can move that up and down to get a different effect too. You know, so that's a matter of just toying with uh, all those until you get it the way you want it. All right, and also changing the shape of your shape instance over here to get a different uh, effect. You know, if you go with like a, a really wide thing and then move a frame, you'll get the results. You have to move a frame to see the results after you do it. You know, go with a smaller, I'm changing the width now. And it will be a little bit slow working with the with this, but you know, you just be a little patient while you're doing it. All right, that's why I usually make my shape instance smaller than the object that I'm working with. All right, and of course, you know, you can go through and you can change the, um, make sure we have that, yeah, we had that set for vertex mode. Um, you can go ahead and add more segments now for more detail. Like that. Might wanna, I'm gonna just move this just so I can see it a little bit better. I'm going to a top view. You know, try not to add too many segments if you don't have to, because during, this way you can play with the thing a little bit. Just get it to where it's not too bad. And this way you get to play with it in low res. And what you can do is, after the X form, see I'm just going to just set this up so I can see it somewhat. After the X form, you add a turbo smooth to it. And this way uh, you can smooth it out after all that. This way it'll it'll be nice and smooth after you go to render it and not you it won't you won't have to deal with it uh the slow progress while you're messing with everything. Let me ch try changing the color here to a little bit better color. 
just so we can see it a little bit better. 